Slab, did you? Did you just jump off the buzzard's nest? Yeah. Damn, you make me proud. What if I told you that every survivor in the game can skip pillars with a single item? Pillar skips have been evolving and practiced for years now, but this tech is something new, something that was never discovered until very recently. Let me introduce you to the momentum skip. This brand new tech has already made a huge impact in the competitive speedrunning scene and involves very little setup in order to be successful. The founder of this tech, GamerHost, was originally inspired to lab this obscure interaction by this clip from an event we held a while ago. Ah, ah shit, awesome, my movement speed. Uh. Just get over here. I can just fall. I can just fall. I'm gonna yeah, go. Just, just, just fall. Just fall. Yo, look at that crit. Whoa, Whoa! Hey, the oh, skip. The, the skip. Who is this guy? <laughs> From there, he spent months trying to find a concrete way to weaponize it. Given the help of members from around the community, this is what they came up with. Now there are two versions of this pillar skip. Version 1 applies to every single survivor and requires one specific item. An item that is already considered as one of the most powerful items in the game, Head Stumpers. This version's setup is very consistent if you're able to get your hands on this item. Using the same tech as jumping after taking events, we're able to gain extreme height by simply sprinting off the commencement bridge at this point looking at the right edge of the big white rock down below, and holding jump until you see yourself flying upwards. Similar to the Stomper's vent jump, extra jumps of any kind will mess up your momentum pillar skip, so make sure you use any extra jumps you have before you start your descent. Since Artificer floats if you hold jump, you want to instead press jump right when you see yourself spawn back on land for the same effect. You'll also want to be cautious about the amount of speed items you have while falling off the bridge because you can move too far away from the point you need to fall at and not get the proper trim upwards due to spawning at the wrong node. Simply start from further back or stop sprinting forward with the normal setup until you're about to spawn back on land if you find yourself having too many speed items. Here, Jack, I found you a thimble. Oh, thanks, Uncle Arthur. I drew you a picture. It's by your... Now version 2 is the really exciting one. It only requires a few movement speed items in order to work on most survivors, while 5 survivors are able to do it without needing a single item. This version allows all but 2 survivors to pillar skip with a bare minimum of 1 red whip, 2 energy drinks, or 3 hooves in order to fully pillar skip. The 2 outliers are both multi and artificer since their acceleration stats are lesser than all the other survivors. If you are playing on Eclipse 3 or higher, which doubles fall damage and makes it lethal, you'll only need one safer spaces as well in order to nullify the fatal fall damage completely. We'll first cover how to do the universal version 2 momentum skip, then move on to the method to pillar skip itemless with ease on 5 of the survivors. The universal momentum skip setup is pretty straightforward. You want to go on top of the hill next to the cauldrons and head over to this jagged point. Once here, jump into this pocket here and align yourself so this rock is in between you and the arena's trunk. During your descent, look in the direction of the trunk. It is crucial that you look in the right direction in order to be successful with momentum skips. Stop sprinting during your descent as well so you don't travel too far away from the necessary fall point. Look as far down as possible and before you see this ring hit the top of your screen, begin sprinting again. Now this alone will not give you the necessary height to pillar skip, however if you fall back into the same spot and repeat the previous step, you'll attain even more momentum than the previous drop. The final step of the universal momentum skip is that you look in the opposite direction of the arena as quickly as possible when you start ascending. 
This will prevent you from hitting the top of the arena and allow you to fly past the edge and land perfectly on top. Again, this setup works for every single survivor, except for the two that we previously talked about, that have less acceleration than the others. This means all but Artie and Multi are able to do this setup. Now, it's time for the itemless gang. And for the first of this group, we'll start with Railgunner. For her, we'll use the same setup as the Universal Momentum skip, but instead of bothering with the multiple drops, getting higher and higher each time, all I want you to do is look down and begin shooting your primary attack right when you begin ascending. Her primary attack's knockback preserves and increases the momentum gained from the fall, and it's good enough to propel you up enough to do the entire momentum skip in a single jump without needing to use a single concussion mine for the ill-advised chance that you chose Polar Field over the good utility. Next up on the itemless pillar skippers is Rex. And for them, you'll also want to start with the beginning steps of the universal setup. However, now comes the really important part, you need to use your utility downwards as soon as you start your ascent, and again right when it comes off cooldown. With the way momentum works, if you use an ability that increases momentum during the peak period of your pre-existing momentum, they multiply off each other extremely well, and right when you begin your ascent is that peak period. If you're even half a second too late, you won't have enough upwards momentum to make the pillar skip. If done correctly though, you'll reach the very top with no trouble. The third survivor for version 2 of the momentum skip is good old Void Fiend. This one starts off with the version 1 setup. However, this time you will instead charge your secondary attack while falling, and use it twice downwards when you spawn back on land. Head back to the same fall spot and repeat the first step once again, and you'll fly right on up. Note that you will want to make sure you manage your corruption meter, so you aren't transformed into corrupted form, which doesn't allow you to charge up your secondary, which starts counting down the cooldown and also stops your momentum if you end up transforming. Now for the next two itemless survivors, we're going to have to introduce a new drop location. Instead of heading over to cauldrons, you'll instead want to reach this point of the hill above mass pullers. Once here, our landing point is going to be right where you see the dark texture meet the light texture on the floor below. And the direction you are going to want to look is right at the top of the big meteor floating in the sky. We are going to utilize this spot first with Acrid. Begin this pillar skiff by leaping upwards and falling in the previously discussed location. Now, once you reach max height, leap upwards again and fall back into the same location and simply repeat the first step until you have built up enough momentum to reach the very top. It's easier with two full drops, however a single drop is possible if you cancel your leap on the arena and leap all the way up after that. And for the final survivor that is able to skip pillars in their entirety without a single item, is actually multi. This will be similar to Acrid's version of this momentum skip, in that you need to use your utility to retreat back to the same fall point. Jump to our new location, and right when you begin ascending, use transport mode and the direction of where you fell as soon as possible. As the momentum builds and you get higher, it will be harder to alter your direction, since Multi's acceleration stat, once again, is far less than the other survivors. So on the third jump, when you have enough upwards momentum to fully pillar skip, make sure you are using your utility in the direction of the arena so you don't miss the jump. All of these version 2 momentum skips are very difficult, so make sure you put in practice to be consistent with them using mods like Debug Toolkit or Aerolt. We've seen some amazing pillar skip iterations in the past, but the momentum skip, otherwise known as the host skip, is single-handedly the most revolutionary tech we've seen in a very long time. Speedrun metas will change, competitive gauntlet racing metas will change, and even the runs of casual players will be altered forever because of it. A huge congrats to GamerHost for putting in the time and having the creativity needed to find this new and exciting tech. And big props to Disputed Origin, MyAngelK, 
cabbage, xenon, and zinc for spending countless hours as well, trying their best to make this tech as fleshed out and consistent as possible. This community never ceases to amaze me and so many others with the continuous amounts of badass tech we're able to discover. And I hope you guys are able to use this knowledge to better your own runs. So make sure you give this video a like if you found it informative and helpful. If you want to learn more crazy stuff about this game, make sure you subscribe and check out some of my past videos and guides. And leave a comment if there's something that totally caught you off guard. Thanks for tuning in to this tech discovery.